All right, what's up, DVW fam? We got a very special video today. We're out in Las Vegas right now, right outside of the House of Dutch Pot. It is a Jamaican food restaurant, and we got a very special guest with us today. We got Chef O. He's gonna tell us a little something about his restaurant. How you guys doing, man? Chef O, representing number one Caribbean Jamaican restaurant in the entire Nevada, and the high, highest rating Jamaican Caribbean restaurant. All today right. I'm gonna show you guys up some jerk chicken. We're gonna show you guys about some new stuff we got coming on like the jerk tilapia and so forth. Stay tuned. This is one video you don't wanna miss. Yep. We're live in Las Vegas right now. Man, it's like 90 degrees, but we're still outside. Let's yep. go. About to get heated. And yeah, like Chef O said, let's go get some Caribbean food. Let's go. So what we're doing right here, we got this jerk chicken that been seasoned since last week, Wednesday. So everything we do at House of Dutch Pot, we do it a week in advance. So even to the bone, you can taste the seasoning. That's why the slogan is, taste of home in every bite. This is one restaurant you come to straight off the flight. You don't check in an hotel first. This is our destination spot in Las Vegas. We ain't number one for no reason. All right. You heard the man, they're not number one for no reason. And we're in the back right now. They got a fresh flame grill back here, right in the back, cooking all the jerk chicken fresh to order. Ooh, smells delicious. I can smell all the aromas and herbs coming out of that chicken. All right, we don't do nothing in the oven beside baked patties. Everything the jerk pork, jerk chicken, everything is jerk, it's done on the grill. So you get that nice smoke flavor. See that, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. What are we doing here? Putting some fresh habaneros and bell peppers just for flavor. So you, the roasted flavor of the peppers be on it. Lay it down right there. Nice fresh habanero. See that? Huh? What is that? That's called a festival? Festival. So it goes hand in there with the same jerk chicken we just lay on the grill. It goes hand in there with escovish fish. This is like a sweet dough. A lot of people would say remind them of churros. Churros? Yeah. See. Right here. Escovy sauce go perfect with the festival. Got cat, so it's like pickled carrots and onion. Very spicy, my dad.
some of the signature jerk sauce right here. Mmm. Wow. That's really good. And it's like a barbecue sauce, but with a lot of herbs and spices. And uh, kind of light. Ooh, that's really good. Chef O whipped up a feast for us guys. These are so many dishes. I will say this is my first time trying Caribbean food because I've tried it once before with just the jerk chicken. So we'll call this my first time. What do we have here? All right, man. So you're super duper special today because you're you actually getting an item that's not even on the menu yet. Ooh. Not even a customer could walk through the room and get it. So we have this new jerk tilapia with lettuce, red onions, tomato, I made a tartar sriracha sauce together, mixed together. So that's a house sauce with some spicy, cheesy jerk fries. Wow. Right? Right here, we got festival. Sweet dough, deep fried, goes well with escapeach fish, jerk chicken, also with the kalaloo we're about to get to. Right here, we got the jerk chicken pineapple boat. That looks crazy. Always. You know they always say carrying people come off the boat? Okay. Uh, pineapple, oh, pineapple boat with jerk chicken topped with pineapple mango salsa. Very nice top seller also. We have our jerk shrimp taco. So in the sense, we kind of have like a little jerk fest. So we got this jerk shrimp taco, lettuce, pineapple salsa, jumbo shrimp. Not no little shrimp. Topped with ranch dressing and cheddar cheese. We got twice fried green plantains with garlic parmesan sauce. Another top seller. Everybody loves it. We have a pepper shrimp over there to my right. Super spicy. If you don't like spicy food, stay away from it. If you do, please indulge in it. Open up your taste buds. And we got the kalaloo that goes perfect with the green sliced fried green plantains. Right also here. with the festival right here. You said this is a national dish? One of it's kalaloo. So it's like a breakfast dish. One of the national dishes. Yes, yeah, sir. So That's crazy. What I just did for my guy D right here. I just about to take his taste buds to the island. He ain't even need a passport. He ain't even board no flight. He ain't even to board no plane. He ain't gotta go through TSA. Just walk <laughs> through the front door, house of Dutch butt, and that's what we do. Taste of foam in every bite, and we take your taste bud on the island without a flight. All right, without further ado, let's have a taste of Jamaica. Yes, sir. All right. So, no, 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 no. Okay. All right, y'all, so we got some uh, fans here. They're actually trying Caribbean food for the first time, so we're gonna get their reactions. How do you guys like this? Oh my gosh, so good. Get everything. This is, we got the Aki and Saltfish, and it's absolutely delicious. Super, super authentic. Uh, we actually, actually, no, we've been to Jamaica. Oh yeah. We've been to Jamaica, I forgot. Oh, so is this authenticity? <laughs> Heck yeah, according to, uh, our non-authentic <laughs> opinion. Uh, what do you think? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try the oxtail right now. So for... Ooh, delicious. Ooh, that's a good reaction. Right? Sauce is very good. Nice. All right, DVW fam. So we got a feast here. I don't know where to begin, guys. Caribbean food looks very vibrant. All these dishes look amazing, but I gotta try these first. I Apparently this is supposed to be like a, like a sweet bread, a doughy bread. It looked really good when uh, Chef O was making it. Kind of looks like a Chinese donut, but it's supposed to be like a churro, kind of sweet. So let's try it out. Mmm. It actually does very much taste like a Chinese donut, except there's a slight hint of sweetness inside and it's also very doughy. Nice crisp on the outside, but super, super doughy. Oh, I really like this. It's called the Festival. It has a cool name too. The festival. Mm -hmm. All right. So I want to try all the authentic dishes first. So this is also one of their national dishes, the kalalu. I hope I'm saying that right. With um, fish, with salt fish. So, oof, looks great. Let's grab a piece right here. Mmm. 
Wow, that's really good. There's so much herbs in here. Oh, there's like a nice, nice and oil based. So it's nice and, you know, moist, but you get a lot of the herbs, bell peppers, spices. I feel like that's the theme when I was watching uh, Chef O whip it up in the kitchen. Ooh, a lot of spices, a lot of items that go into every dish. Mm, good. And this fish is like nice and salty. It's called salt fish, so it's a really good dish. And uh, there's some plantains to go with it. Mmm. Nice caramelized on the outside, sweet. Good contrast to um, this uh, medley of fish and herbs right here. That was good. Alright, so Chef O said this is one of their top items right here the grilled jumbo shrimp tacos let's try it out mm. there's some heat to there the taco shell is nice and toasted on the outside there's like a sriracha mayo on the inside i think that's where the heat comes from and there's a nice medley of like a fruit salad on top to give it that spritz of sweetness Woo. this bar Mm. And of course, you got the nice crunch from the grilled shrimp. Mm -hmm. I'm only a couple dishes in, a lot of herbs and spices, so I gotta cool it down with the strawberry mint lemonade. Let's taste this. Mmm, it's really good. Nice and sweet, but not too sugary. And it almost tastes like a strawberry mojito, because there's like these mint leaves in there, but it's not an alcoholic, so it's super refreshing. I see why they have this, because with all the spices, you need to cleanse the plate. All right, so this is the twice fried plantains with a little bit of their special sauce right here. This is actually green plantains, twice fried. Mmm. That sauce is crazy. All the flavor is coming from that sauce. I'm gonna dip it some more. That sauce is crazy. Kind of reminds me of like um sour cream and onion sauce, like the ruffle sauce for some reason. But yeah, this plantain is really, really crunchy. It's like a big chip with plantain in it. Mm. It's not as sweet as the other one that was on the plate though. So this one is more on like a salty side, kind of like a chip. Mm -hmm. So, really excited to try this one here guys. This is the jerk chicken. As you guys see, there's also like a medley of like a salsa, like a fruit salsa. There's pineapple, I think mango. Can't tell if it's mango. I think it looks like pineapple. Bell peppers. This looks beautiful. And this is their jerk chicken that you saw him grilling on the outside. Say marinated it for a really long time. So it said the flavor goes straight to the bone. So I love jerk chicken. Let's try it out. Mm. Wow. The sauce works out. I gotta dip into a little bit of the sauce. Ooh. Mm. I saw I tried that sauce in the kitchen. It's really light, like um the consistency is really light, but it tastes kinda like um a barbecue sauce with a lot of spice in it. And uh slight sweetness but yeah this is good jerk chicken and uh, there's like a bed of rice in the pineapple and also like the medley of fruit on the top it gives it that nice sweet spritz so it's a lot of flavor so it's like there's a lot of that caribbean spice but also sweetness mm -hmm. mm. and there is indeed a whole chicken in here there's actually some bones in here so watch out Ooh, but at least you know it's a whole piece of chicken mm. All right, so moving on to the pepper shrimp right here. It kind of looks like a Cajun broil, like something you get at boiling crab or something like that. But let's see, it's Caribbean spice, so it's no joke. Mmm. I stuck on the head a little bit. Mmm. Mmm. A lot of heat to it. Mmm. Well, I'm gonna dip it all in the sauce right here. You gotta get the sauce. Mm. You guys like your spices, your herbs. Ooh, the spice it like creeps up onto you. There's like a nice dry rub on there, like that oil base with the butter, with all of that 
seasoning. Ooh, really good Cajun shrimp. Sometimes I just like to like drench the shrimp in all the sauce and just like set the sauce off the shrimp. Mm -hmm. That sauce is where it's at. It's what makes and breaks the shrimp. But like the name implies, it is a pepper chicken, so you get a lot of that dry heat from the seasonings rather than the butter, like compared to if you go to boiling crab or something. So it's a lot of heat on there. Ooh. A lot of the herbs, so Caribbeans don't play with their herbs, guys. All right, so this is our special item. Um, I'm one of the first people to try this. This is a jerk fish sandwich. Let's try it out. Mmm, ooh, that's a good fish. Mm. Ooh, so the theme is the same. There's like a nice dry rub on that fish. Nice and flavored. It's nice and flaky, the fish, but ooh, it's lined with like that sauce inside. It's like a sriracha aioli. Ooh. Really good. But definitely, the fish is where it's at and the herbs on the fish. Just like the seasoning. If I had to sum this spot up in one word, the seasoning. They go crazy on the seasoning here. Mm -hmm. So, this dish also comes with some cheesy fries. Let's try it out right here. Dip in a little bit of the sauce. And get in the sauce right here. Get some horseradish in that sauce. Nice and creamy. Mustardy. A little bit. Ooh. Just some cheesy fries to go through a fish burger. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is my one of my first stabs at making Caribbean food, especially in Vegas. I love it. This is one of the top Caribbean spots in Vegas. I would definitely say my top items are definitely like their national dishes, the colalo right here. Probably butchering that. I'm so sorry. A lot of herbs, a lot of veggies, that fish in there. Ooh, so good and that plantain to top it off so much flavors in this dish I say that this is probably my favorite dish Tastes very authentic even though this is my first stab at Jamaican food So yeah, and this jerk chicken of course really like jerk chicken can't go wrong with jerk chicken and oh This festival right here You guys gotta get this you guys love Chinese donuts. You'll probably love the festival mm -hmm. It's like a Chinese donut and a churro, but a lot doughier. But yeah guys, I'm glad I got to experience authentic Caribbean food out here in Las Vegas. Had a great time here. All the food is very vibrant, looks very good. Like I said, a lot of spices, a lot of seasonings. So if you guys can't handle that, maybe ask to get a little bit more mild. Even though it's not like too over top in spice, just some dishes could have more heat than others. But like I said guys, a lot of spices. I feel like my nasal is clearing up. Man, yeah guys, this spot is legit, so definitely check it out. So if you guys like this video, please like it. Comment down below some suggestions for us. Subscribe for more DVW food vlogs. Deuces.